hard enduro practice session. Air pressures are meticulously checked as the tiniest variation could mean failure instead of success. Ha, who are we kidding? 99% of our crashes are rider error, but it's always fun to blame your air pressures for crashing. We have a bunch of different obstacles for practice sessions now on our various private properties. But today, there's a new tractor tyre, so it's time to warm up, then get some practice at climbing vertical rock faces. Once a vertical rock face is tall enough, you can't just wheelie over it. You need to deliberately punch it with your front wheel to get lift. Tougher than it sounds. Andrew generously shows us what happens if you punch the tyre too low. If you aim too high, you don't get the lift needed. Frustrating, I've you always do your best efforts when no one's looking. The big problem with tractor tyres, once you are on top, it's easy to fall off. <laughs> You're up! <Get> bike up! <laughs> You're up! <laughs> and if you aren't careful, you can go over the bars on the descent. Here's Success. a quick guide. See our full training vid for more details. Nice and slow, remember to push down on those foot pegs and punch that rock face. It's all energy in your suspension. Keep that throttle on to get drive up the rock face. And finally, de-weight those foot pegs. Congratulations, you made it. Ben tries this tractor tyre a few weeks later after a lot of rain. The ground very slippery, so he's trying the double blip technique. One blip of throttle lifts the front wheel, the front wheel punches the obstacle and compresses the suspension, then you do your second blip of throttle with a controlled drop of the clutch or zap. However, he's not getting good traction on the ground and the tractor tyre is wet too. So the rear wheel is spinning on the tractor tyre and not providing that final bit of lift to get up. The double blip and the zap are both trials techniques. See our training vid for more information. And finally, success. What are the other guys up to? Danny is just starting to learn wheelies from a standstill. If you like riding technical terrain, it's an invaluable skill. The idea is to get the front wheel up high, but with minimal increase in speed. Most riders learn how to do wheelies completely the wrong way. Big handfuls of throttle and rapid acceleration. This gets you into trouble real fast in technical terrain. So it's all about using your body positioning and compressing that suspension so you actually need very little throttle to lift the front wheel. <laughs> Danny is doing it the right way, learning on nice soft grass, taking his time, starting small and working his way up. And remember, learn how to cover that rear brake too. See our YouTube playlist for all our wheelie training vids. Need more dirt bike porn? Remember we have over 350 supporter vids now for when too much dirt muppetry isn't quite enough.